Now at 11, who murdered Sharice Bingham? It's a question Indiana State Police are still trying to answer almost a decade later. Tonight, WRTV's Nico Panisi met with Bingham's brother. He tells us about the person she was and what needs to happen for the family to get closure. 18 years Monday, the 12th. 51-year-old Sharice Bingham shot and killed while walking her dogs along the White River. How often would she come here and walk her dogs? Well, she had three places that she went. Okay. And only play, two places I know was uh, this place over by Riverside Park. Indiana State Police found her body at the intersection of New York and Limestone on December 12, 2012. Her two German shepherds stood by her side, guarding her. She wasn't able to have any uh, kids. She just took the dogs as her, her children, her babies. Charisse was the youngest of three. Reese, as her family called her, was giving, energetic, and dedicated to her family. What are you doing to keep her memory alive? Pray every day. Pray every day. <laughs> yes, pray, pray every day. We still do not know who killed Sharice. Her husband, Eugene Bingham, was arrested two years later, but the charges were dropped in 2015 due to lack of evidence. To this day, Indiana State Police is still investigating the case. I know that you don't have a peace of mind. I know your family don't have a peace of mind. I know when the anniversary comes around every year, you see my family out here trying to find out and get closure. You say closure, it's 10 years later. We still have not convicted anyone. Do you think you'll ever get that closure? I will get that closure. It, it might be next year, it might be 20 years from now, it might be 30 years from now. That closure will come. Somebody's gonna step forward, and say, I know who did it. Working for you, Nico Panisi, WRTV. If you or someone that you know has any information related to this investigation, you are encouraged to get in touch with state police.